in the discussions about the impact of the financial crisis, which we actually did continue during this uh, brainstorming, but I think we have seen now we have been able to shift the discussion much more towards the opportunities and the possibilities. And I hope that you all will also leave Tianjin with a great feeling of new energy, new possibilities, new opportunities, and therefore go invigorated home and actually be able to live through these possible opportunities. I have the great pleasure to introduce Mayor Huang from Tianjin, and I think we should all thank him very cordially for the excellent support which has made possible this outstanding meeting. Mayor Huang, thank you very much. Distinguished Executive Chairman Schwab, dear guests, ladies and gentlemen, the two-day annual meeting of the New Champions 2008 is to close. These two days have been exciting and memorable. Over 1,500 guests from home and abroad has gathered in Tianjin to discuss important and visionary issues on world politics and economy and aired their views that are profound and imaginative. Premier Wen Jiabao delivered a wonderful keynote speech, stated his opinions on current world economic trends and answered questions interested to participants of the meeting. Such open and fair interaction pushed the meeting into its climax. This is a successful world event in economic circle. Distinguished Executive Chairman Schwab, again with his extraordinary wisdom, presented the fruits yielded from Davos spirit to the whole world. No doubt, today, the current forum has been a productive one. Ideas sparkle here. Listening to voices of new champions is to seek paths to the future. Confronted with the complicated world economy, participants share their wisdom and ideas. They have fully demonstrated the outstanding features of new champions who are rising forces in the ever-changing world economic pattern. The features are innovation, passion, vision, persistence, responsibility, and ambition. I believe the fruits of the forum will for sure exert far-reaching influences on world economic development. We are so pleased to see that the current new champions annual meeting has provided Tianjin with opportunities of sharing fruits and learning from world advanced concepts. Tianjin Binhai New Area, as the focus of the state strategy, has displayed her bright prospect to the guests. Understanding the unique significance of reform and opening in Tianjin Binhai New Area is an important move to decode the new wave of growth in Chinese economy. Now, Tianjin Binhai New Area is witnessing influx of world knowledge, experience, and wisdom, and is to become a brand new growth pole in China's economic development. With the time passing, she will for sure bring more surprise to Tianjin, to China, and to the world. Dear guests, ladies and gentlemen, the current forum is to close, but friendship and cooperation are to unfold gradually. Thanks to this successful forum, Tianjin has been closely tied to Davos. We sincerely hope that the spirit of Davos and the spirit of Tianjin may meld into each other and permeate 
into the dynamic land here. May all of you keep a close eye on the city of Tianjin and its development, and participate in the development and construction of Tianjin Binhai New Area. Finally, I would like to thank respected Executive Chairman Klaus Schwab. Thank you for all of the guests and friends here, and let's remember this memorable time. Thank you all. May I invite now Mayor Shaw from Dalian, the city we will hold the annual meeting of new champions in 2009. Thank you. Respected Chairman Schwab, respected Mayor Huang Xinguo, Participants, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. The two-day-long annual meeting of the new champions 2008 is going to be concluded. I think this is a successful meeting. So on behalf of the government of Dalian, Gratitude, Chairman Sharp, because he has decided that next year Dalian will be the host city of Savas Forum. This shows the trust and confidence of the World Economic Forum on Dalian City. Therefore, once again, I would like to make our promise to all the participants and uh, Chairman Shab that Dalian will live up to your expectations. We will draw upon the experience of the annual meeting this year and to provide a better, more convenient and more relaxing environment next year for the annual meeting. So please believe that we will have an even more successful meeting next year in Dalian. Ladies and gentlemen, currently the world economy is facing serious challenges. Its severity has been felt by all the participants. I've listened to many of the presentations during this meeting, and everyone can feel the impact of these challenges. And yesterday, in his keynote speech, Premier Wen Jiabao expressed his confidence on the sustained and rapid economic development of China. We fully trust the judgment of our Premier. We believe that the Chinese growth has great potentials and is driven by various forces. And the most obvious and strongest driven force is regional economic growth. Last year, in Dalian, you knew the opportunities of the revitalization of Northeast China imposed on the development of Dalian. And this year, you can further feel the stress of the central government on the economic development of that part of China. And the central government will continue to support the economic opening up and growth of the coastal regions in Liaoning province. I believe next year, the contributions of Dalian to the annual meeting will be demonstrated by its economic vitality, its international vision, its creativity, innovation, sound eco-environment, which will be a great inspiration to all the participants. We hope that the annual meeting of the new champions will play a positive role in helping the world facing up to the economic challenges and difficulties. 
So finally, on behalf of the six million people of Dalian, I would like to express our welcome to all the friends here to participate in next year's annual meeting that will be held in Dalian. Thank you. I would like now to invite Professor Klaus Schwab, the Executive Chairman of the World Economic Forum. Friends, first I would like to thank you. You can imagine I have lived through quite a number of meetings, but this was an extraordinary meeting in terms of its interactivity. You have been really engaged, and actually I felt it corresponded this meeting exactly to what we want to achieve in the World Economic Forum. Not just to organize a meeting, but to create a community of people who are concerned about the state of the world and are ready and eager to do something in order to improve the state of the world. I would like to thank here, of course, our strategic partners, partners and members, the pillar of the World Economic Forum, and the global growth companies, the new champions in a larger sense, the second pillar of the World Economic Forum. In this spirit, we are very proud of having developed those two pillars because the world of the future will have a transatlantic and will have a Pacific dimension. I would like to thank our young global leaders who have brought a lot of enthusiasm into this meeting and all the other guests who correspond to the multi-stakeholder notion of the forum because we deeply feel that the challenges of this world can only met through cooperation, global international cooperation, but also cooperation between governments, business, and civic society. I would like to thank, for, above all, Mayor Wang. Your hospitality, your personal engagement, the engagement of the preparatory committee, the engagement of the people. I heard everybody is proud here in Tianjin to have this meeting with a worldwide impact in this city. And we were happy to be in this city. So thank you very much for all what you have done. And I should particularly mention also this I, I, I'm hesitating. I think I should use both um, adjectives. Um, this fantastic, monumentous Congress Hall. And for those who are not familiar, most or many of the things which we have found here were particularly built for our presence here in Tianjin. And I think this is also a spirit of this region to invest into the future and to make it easy for foreign investors in such a sense I consider ourselves as foreign investors to be in Tianjin and in this uh, special economic region. It would be too ambitious to summarize this meeting I think the last session and I would like to thank Nick Going um, has brought out very much the world we are living in. Just one or two thoughts. First, this is probably the first transformational crisis of a globalized age. It's not just a crisis. I think the consequences of this crisis will be transformational. Many things will change. We have seen in the last weeks how famous names in business from one day to the other disappeared. And I think it's a reassurance 
and vindication for the new champions for the global growth companies. I think one of the changes which will happen is the rise of those companies, a change of the business map, and we will find many more countries on the fortune, many more companies of countries like India, China, on the fortune 500 list in the future. We have to prepare for those new dynamics. If I look at the crisis again, and I say it's of transformational nature, I think what we witness in the world is not one crisis. It was said before, it's a systemic crisis. We at the Forum, and I think I mentioned it before, we have identified at least 30 potential crises for the global community. Some of those are in the making. Some of those, like epidemics, uh, could occur any day. So it's a world which is much more complex. It's a world which is much more fast-moving. It's a world which is much more interrelated, and we are not used to deal with this interconnectivity, despite the fact that we are a global world. Just think of something like the food crisis. It's interconnected with energy. It's interconnected with climate change. It's interconnected with water. We are still too much organized in a departmentalized way. So when we call for leadership, what is natural in such a situation. We also have to keep in mind that we are living in a networked world where it's very difficult to exercise leadership from the top. Leadership has shifted, and it has not only shifted from, let's say, the United States to other countries. I think the whole notion of leadership has shifted. Leadership today is much more distributed. What does it mean? The question was asked before, what is happening when we go out of this room? We expect leadership. Of course we need leadership to, to solve the crisis. But in order to lead or to get through this transformational process, I think we all have to exercise cooperative leadership, which means, again, everybody of us in his, responsibility area, has his responsibility area has to do the right things at the right time. But interconnected, interconnected. So we have to build new leadership models in our world. Speaking about leadership, we need long-term visions. I have to say, I was very impressed by Premier Wen's participation and speech yesterday, because it showed that there is a long-term comprehensive vision in this country. And if this country has been mentioned as the most, let's say, promising country, and there are worries about slowdown in the economy, but let's not forget, even if economic growth is slowing down for some time and afterwards picking up, and if we assume, in the worst case probably, that the economic growth of, those, of this country is only, only, in quotation mark, 7%, we still speak about quadrupling of the economy in the next 20 years. Now, just imagine in the most environment of tourism, consumption power. So, that's for China. Also, coming back to when participation, I would like to use the opportunity to request our appreciation for his presence because he has He put it a competitive action for this country. Now, looking forward to our next meeting, it will be a happy, a very happy, with challenges for everybody of us. For members and um, our opportunities in the world, I can already say this will be the most important in our business. We will go back to the good business. But again, next year, we uh, will be the most important thing ever. Because we will be meeting in time, fully, from beyond the classes, from beyond the institution, to look at the good architecture. We are not going to take this architecture.
Au revoir, vous êtes venu à tout le monde.